Thank you, Michael. And now it is my distinct pleasure to introduce a great friend of Poland, a great friend of Polish Americans, and a great friend of APAC, Honorable Mar Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur. General never misses a party. And great to have you here. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you for all you've done. Agnes, thank you for this beautiful Captain Hill reception and thank you all uh, for coming. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, oh, so great to see you. Oh, great to see you. Um, I wanted to, I'm from Northern Ohio. So this stretches from communities like Parma, maybe some of you've heard of that, or Cleveland, all the way west to Toledo. I'm one of the members, few members, who is of Polish American heritage. And when I first came to Congress, one of the first congressmen to actually greet me was Congressman uh, Clement Zablocki of uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Some of you are old enough, uh, or at least you've read history books about uh, Representative Zablocki. So um, I have had the great pleasure in my life of serving with uh, now thousands of members of Congress. I'm senior woman in the House of Polish American Heritage. So um, I can't say how happy I am uh, to see you all here for taking the time uh, to be with us. And uh, most of our members are getting back. They've been in their districts for a week now, so they're coming back to Washington. I just got off the airplane myself and came up here to the Hill. Uh, I'm a very... Um, uh, uh, a lover of Poland uh, and uh, a citizen of uh, great expectations uh, for her future. Um, I've traveled in Poland many, many times, uh, going way back to before many of you were born, and uh, long before I was a member of Congress, and I've seen the transformation in Poland. I support very much uh, university relationships between our respective countries, uh, political, uh, relationships, our parliament, same exchanges. Uh, I support, as a member of our defense committee, military relationships and the recent sale uh, of Patriot missiles, the announcement of Patriot missiles by Raytheon Corporation. Uh, if you could say I cheered, I did. And uh, I'm hoping that through the Partnership for Peace, we can build uh, much stronger relationships with Poland uh, as a new standard bearer for liberty in that part of uh, Central Europe. So um, um, I was made an honorary citizen a few years ago of the village from which our father's parents came over a century ago uh, to our country, and I continue to treasure the moments that I spent with the people of northwestern Poland uh, <clears throat> and the greater Poznań region uh, for... Uh, for those really precious moments that they provided me. Um, the, uh, I also am a co-chair of the Polish caucus here in Congress, along with Congressman Lipinski uh, and others, and I co-chair the Ukrainian caucus. So uh, uh, you can tell that I have an abiding interest. The same is true with the Hungarian caucus. And a uh, member of the Baltic caucus, so I have a little bit of affection for that uh, part of the world. and. Uh, with me tonight, I have brought Allison Jarris, who's a young member of our staff, and she helped to arrange this. She's from Lakewood, Ohio, uh, a community that is not uh, unknown to the people of Poland. And I always look for ways of building bridges between our country and that part of the world, knowing for how long um, relationships were very, very um, uh, tender. Uh, between the people of our respective countries. Probably in going to Poland, my last visit there, one of the most incredible experiences I had was a personal tour of the Museum of the Warsaw Uprising, which I was completely impressed with. And this summer I'm spending time with one of my friends from Poland who will come to the United States, and one of the projects I'm working on personally is to try to do a documentary, not as a member of Congress, but privately, uh, about one of my constituents who had served in the Polish cavalry and who fought on both fronts uh, during World War II, uh, was imprisoned uh, in three different concentration camps and escaped at the end uh, of the Second World War and uh, I believe would have been one of Poland's great leaders. Uh, but all that was taken away 
and uh, he ultimately made his way to the United States. And uh, when I was home last week, because we were not uh, voting last week, I was able to uh, see the initial um, film that is 10 minutes, the first 10 minutes of what is being put together uh, to try to s tell the story of the Son of Two Nations. And I'll tell you, it was, it was overwhelming uh, for those who were uh, involved in its, um, uh, in its production. So I'm very hopeful that that will help to explain to the American people something more about Poland and to the Polish people something more about America. So we hope to build a bridge through that uh, documentary effort. So I just wanted to thank you very much, keeping in mind Polish Constitution Day, keeping in mind the importance of your being here. And I hope that through your efforts, we will find more Americans of Polish heritage to run for Congress. That would also be a big help. Thank you so very much. For being here.